Be nice. Brody's making money himself as well, I'm sure. But it's just great people who had confidence right, in this guy four, and give him an opportunity. He'd love to double up. Ace 10 versus Ace 9. And a 9 hits! Oh! Jose Serrato is disappointed with that flop. He now needs a jack 10 or a 6 to take the lead. We're giving away $50. It's very simple. Here's how. Step one, go to WPTGlobal.com. Step two, sign up using bonus code YT77. Step three, deposit at least $1. And you better act quickly because we're only giving away $50 to 100 people. There you see the chip count. Kane Callis well out in front with over 24 million. Darren Elias in second place with 8.6 million. Jose and Aaron on the short stacks. That's what they're playing for. Winner tonight takes home over 843,000. That's right. And the Andy's going up to 25,000. The blinds are 1 and 200,000. Here we go. Action over to Aaron Overton. Quick fold by him. And now Kane Callis. Now Kane, the big chip leader, the most aggressive player at the table, going to raise here with a 10 deuce offsuit. Just a 10 deuce. Makes the raise. Now Darren behind him with a. Pretty interesting jack-10 of spades. Well, that's surprising. He's played him with every other hand he's had so far, but opts to lay that one down. Jose from Detroit with a 9-10. He's one of Bluff's ones to watch here this season on the World Poker Tour. So Kane gonna stop over these guys with just a 10-deuce. Well, Kane, the man of the hour, trying to take home that Ublo watch that goes to the champion. And he is a very talented guy. His family, Broadcaster's extraordinaire in the Major League Baseball world. His dad, Harry Callis, was very famous for the Phillies. His brother, an announcer, broadcast for the Tampa Bay Rays. He's looking to get into professional broadcasting himself, but right now, looking to take down a WPT title. Come on. Darren Elias is going all in with his ace high now. Of course, these two others are short stacks, so obviously he's not putting up his whole eight million, but Quick fold by Jose and Aaron also out. So Darren Elias, this is second WPT final table here at Borgata. Made this final table back in season 10. Trying to take down his first WPT title. Darren Elias is one highly respected poker pro, folks, I can tell you. I'm gonna take a look at his card. It's just a measly 6-5. He goes out. Action over to Jose. Uh, he's got two tens. He will be shipping it here, Vince. He is one of the two short stacks here. Come on. He's a ones to watch, and he's going to push all in with the tens. And Aaron behind him can't compete with a nine four. How much is that? But Kane, it's piqued his interest a little bit. He says, "How much will that cost me?" Well, not even Kane is going to play this pot with a jack three off. Just don't know, Mike. I couldn't imagine it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he comes around to his senses, folds the hand. <laughs> Jose will show the real hand. And Jose wants to watch. Could be an up-and-coming player, certainly. Very impressive debut on the World Poker Tour here. He's going to muck this hand. I think this is the first pocket pair I'm going to get. So. Over to Aaron Overton, who hasn't had many hands to play. Yeah, the ginger ninja playing very gingerly right now. Well, Kane's in the small blind here with 10-4 hearts. Yep, he just sees an opportunity opening up again. Everybody folding before him, and he's getting out the raising chips. Yep, 6.25 to go. Well, more than triple the size of the big blind. Well, Darren with just the queen six of hearts, but he's got position. He's going to make the call. Just not going to let this guy push him around. So Kane and Darren up to it again. Here comes the flop. It is a king two five, but two hearts out there, Mike. Yeah, both players have flopped a flush draw. Darren, as you can see, has the bigger flush draw, but certainly when you raise pre-flop, you're going to bet on this flop when you flop a flush draw. Well, neither one of them has a pair. And Kane's going to put in a million dollar bet. Big drawing hand, though. He's not going anywhere. He's making this call. Well, some players may raise in that spot with a flush draw, but Darren opting to just call, wants to see what happens here. 
Love to hit a heart, and he's gonna hit it hard. Eight of hearts on the turn. They both have flushes. Well, this could be heart-wrenching for Kane. Well, this is just gonna be great for Darren Elias. Gonna be shocked if he doesn't double up here. Both players have a flush. Oh, and Kane's gonna come up with a bet. Oh, he's wow. gonna bet 1.7 million. Now, if you're sitting in Darren's seat, you figure to have the best hand here. Yes, he could have the ace high flush. If he's got that, you're going broke anyway. You're never getting away from this hand. The question is, how do you play it? Do you just call or do you raise in this spot? If you call, your opponent may bluff on the river if he has nothing. So that's one of the reasons you would call instead of raising this spot. But let's see what Darren does. Yeah, plus Darren has position on Kane. Great time to have position on a person. And he is going to do the right thing. Just calls it. Took his time, gave us a performance. Got to love that. I don't think how it's going to matter on the river, unless the board pairs. I think all the chips are going in. Ten of clubs on the river. So Kane with his first opportunity to have things go backwards for him. He's in some spot right now. Smaller flush, big pot. Come on. He's going to go all in a quick insta call, of course, by Darren. And it's flush oh. over flush. A cooler, as we say, in the industry. And Darren Elias is going to double up here against the chip leader. Huge pot for Darren Elias right there. There's Darren's family loving this moment. Darren from Cherry Hill, New Jersey, has a lot of fans in the house. One of the most amazing hands we've seen on the WPT all season. It has just happened. The two chip leaders, flush over flush, with just three hearts out there. Just incredible. Just that quick, we have a new chip leader at this final table. Darren Elias has taken over the chip lead with over 17 million in chips. And I tell you something, they're both very talented young players. And they got two short stacks on their left that are just dribbling around. We're giving away $50. It's very simple. Here's how. Step one, go to WPTGlobal.com. Step two, sign up using bonus code YT77. Step three, deposit at least $1. And you better act quickly because we're only giving away $50 to 100 people. They are hanging in there by dental floss, but actions on Darren. Quick fold by him, Jose, with a seven five of clubs. Mucks it. Over to Aaron in the small blind. He's got the queen eight offsuit. Oh, he is card dead, this guy. He's got to be very frustrated. I'll go all in. Well, he's going all in with it. Yeah. Call. And the snap call Go-oh. by Kane here. I'm live. Kane has got ace jack. Well, these are the two Philly guys, Vince. I'm predicting an eight. And Aaron Overton predicting an eight, he says. Well, he wins this pot. He needs help, otherwise you're going to be out in fourth place. Ace jack versus a queen oh. right in the door. Yeah, that's better than an eight. Where's the eight? I think it's coming. <laughs> Aaron pleasantly surprised at that flop and a juice of hearts on the turn. Well, another good card for Aaron. He has a flush draw now, meaning the ace of hearts doesn't help Kane. So Kane's just got a few outs to win this pot. The two Philly guys both smiling. One's got a lot of chips. One didn't have hardly any, but is about to double up. Aaron Overton sweating out the river. Here we go. It's an eight. Gives him two. Yeah. Yeah. You know it's kind of cool. Well, it was right about the eight. It came on the river, giving him two pair and the pot and the double up. I said there was an eight coming. I wasn't sure about the queen. I thought the eight would just be good enough. Yeah, I only needed the eight. These four guys are, let's go to it. Jose Serratos gonna lay down his 9-6. Aaron Overton with an ace-10, finally getting a decent hand. We've got two big stacks and two short stacks here. Aaron's one of the short stacks. All in. Oh, and he's going all in with the ace-10 on the button. Yep, gonna push Kane out. I, mean, I like this play, he's only got 11 big blinds. Might Darren. as well ship it. Yeah, Darren with a nothing hand, so. There you go, Aaron. And he does so. The redheaded Ginja Ninja taking down yeah. that pot. 
I'm happy to get it. Yes. Now, you know what ginger means. It's uh, like a redhead, you know, a gingerhead person. Now, who's the great snowboarder that's a redhead? Uh, because Carrot he, Top? Because this guy, Sean White I'm talking about, yeah. well, is yeah. a phenomenal snowboarder. Well, this guy's a great snowboarder himself. Yes, yes, he is. He's a daredevil, great poker player. He plays mostly here at Bergata. And let's see if he gets on a roll. He's going to quickly fold this hand. King Callis is going to take a breather as well. So it's folded around to Darren Elias in the small blind. He's got the ace eight offsuit up against the short stack out of the four. All in. So he says all in, but he's just covering his opponent, who happens to be Jose. And Jose looks down at the nine deuce, defenseless against the all in bet. So Darren Elias taking down that pot. Darren Elias, second time he's been at the Borgata Poker Open final table. Looking to take down his first WPT title tonight. So action continues here. These are the four remaining players out of 1,226 starters. Kane is going to fold it. And now Darren Elias. He's the chip leader. He has ace nine of diamonds. Yeah, certainly going to raise on the button here. Yes, he does. Makes it 400. The min raise into Jose Serratos. He's got ace 10 of clubs. Now, well, Vince is on the short stack. Just can't imagine he won't shimmer with this hand. He's yep. done it. He's gone all in. Aaron behind him will I fold. Call. And Darren with the insta call. Darren not in a good place. Ace nine dominated right now by Jose with ace 10. So great opportunity for Jose to double up here. Get back in the thick of things. Amazing story. Sought investors on the internet for this tournament event. He is thrilled that he has made money for them. Be nice. Thrilled he's making money himself as well, I'm sure. But it's just great people who had confidence right, in this guy and give him an opportunity. He'd love to double up. Ace 10 versus Ace 9, and a 9 hits! Oh! Jose Serrato is disappointed with that flop. He now needs a jack 10 or a 6 to take the lead. Ones to watch. Disappointed after that. But he's a dog at this point, and he knows it. He can feel it. And here comes the turn. He's a jack! He has made a straight on the turn. He gives a fist pump. He can't lose the pot. All he can do is tie it if a 10 comes off. So he has gone from sad to extremely happy in the turn of a card. Well, you're way up against it, and all of a sudden, you're free rolling for the win. Queen of Hearts on the river. So good for Jose. So just like that, Jose Serratos doubles up. He moves into third chip position. Way to go, Jose. Mike, this is very exciting. Well, I wonder if Jose, can you see your name on the Champions <laughs> Cup? Back down to the felt we go. Total entries, 1,226 entered this event. Down to these four. Kane with a quick fold. Action on Darren on the button. Looks down at the deuce five of spade. He's been very aggressive thus far at this final table, but here opts to limp in on the button with the deuce five. Yep, Jose. Well, a little shocked by that. He hadn't seen that play yet today. He looks down at a queen eight offsuit, but a lot of money out there. Going to cost him just 100000 to make the call so far, and he does it. And now will Aaron raise here in this spot? That's the question. He's happy he's going to get to see a flop at the least. Mm -hmm. He's got the 10-7 of spade. Not much of a hand. I think he's happy to see a flop with this hand, Vince, and he is. So we're going to have three-way action. Okay, here we go to the flop. It is a jack-3-7, so Aaron taking the lead with sevens. Now action on Jose. He checks. Yep. Now I would bet middle pair in this spot, Vince. I think you're supposed to, just to see where you're at. He's getting the money out. And he will make a little plunge. 275,000. Now, 
Darren knows that he hadn't made any moves all day, and he's got nothing, so he gets out of the way, mm -hmm. as does Jose. So Aaron Overton taking down that pot. Yeah. Happy to get it. He's got to be happy to get it. This is Aaron's third WPT cash. There's his girlfriend and his brother. Vince, we know that many poker players have a lot of talent off the felt as well. Aaron Overton, a top-notch snowboarder. Kane Callis, bowled 299 one time. And Darren Elias, a top-notch racquetball player. Terrific. They do other things other than just play poker, as you can see. There's more to life than poker. Yeah. All right, the blinds are up to 125, 250. And now Aaron hoping to get hot here. Ace deuce. All in. Well, Aaron moving all in on the button. But Kane with a real hand behind him with a pair of jacks. Now he knows he has Darren behind him, so. Well, he's definitely calling, Vince. It's yeah. just a matter if he's going to raise to try to shut Darren out. But if Darren comes over the top of this call, if he does make it, the jacks won't be any good. Kane Callis. Good call. Just calling. And Darren will look down and a nothing hand goes out. So there you go. They're going to flip up the cards. You got your ace dudes up against a pair of jacks. Two guys from Philly, two locals, two excellent young players. Well, as the cards lie, Kane about a 70% favorite to win this pot. So Aaron Overton in trouble here. His tournament life on the line. If he doesn't get some help, he'll be our fourth place finisher. Here it flops. An ace. An ace right in the door. What a flop for the ginger ninja Aaron Overton flopping aces and deuces. Kane has to catch a jack to win the pot, and that's the case. So Kane's a bowler right now. He's looking at the 7 10 split. Can he get it? Unreal flop. Here comes the turn. Ooh! Flash King. What the heck? But okay. the first one's going to count, not the king. The king will be the next burn card. The king will be the burn card. It will not play in the hand. Recount. All right, Kane needs to hit the 7-10 split to knock his man out. Can he do it? Needs a jack. Nothing else will help. Two outer. We've seen it before, but it's very rare. Must hit a jack to knock out Aaron. Now tilted, I would have been if that card was a jack. Yeah. <laughs> Seven ten splits are rare too, Vince, but they happen once in a while. Aaron holding his breath. Oh no! Oh, oh, it is a jack! Unbelievable! Aaron getting knocked out by a two-outer on the river. Well, we were talking about the seven ten split, Vince. There it was. The great bowler, Dean Callis, does it right there to eliminate Aaron Overton from this tournament. Wow. Vince, once you spike the ace on the flop, you've got dreams of having six million in chips. Just like that, you're hitting the rail. It's just a miracle card. He has done it. Kane has knocked out his buddy. Aaron Overton, Aaron will take home some big money and a horrible shocker on the river. He'll take home 259,000. This is incredible. Let's go talk to the man. You got a feel for him. I uh, definitely wanted to like accumulate some chips and try to make a run um, and, and win this thing. So I was going to play aggressively there when I had the same chip stack as Jose. Um, I'm extremely happy to make it this far. It's been awesome to be a part of this WPT final table. It's a really cool experience. Pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah. We're giving away $50. It's very simple. Here's how. Step one, go to WPTGlobal.com. Step two, sign up using bonus code YT77. Step three, deposit at least $1. And you better act quickly because we're only giving away $50 to 100 people. Back to this hand. Kane picking up sevens with the button. Yep, gonna raise it up here. Makes it 500,000 to go. Darren with a Doyle Brunson 10 deuce, folds the hand, and now it's on to our man. Jose, he's got king nine of hearts. Really charged with this. Mullen. There he goes. Yep, he's doing it, Vince. That hand's worked for him earlier at this final table. Here he gets called, though, and he's in a race situation. The two over cards versus the under pair. 
Jose Serratos must win this pot to stay alive or he'll be our third place finisher. Vince, if Kane wins this pot, we'll be playing heads up. And Kane Callis will have broke all four players at the table so far. Let's see if he can do it. Well, you're right. Jose engaged with a kid. This is his dream come true. Can he hit a king of nine on the flop? And he's up against the walking sticks. Will they send Jose walking out of here? Seven. Kane with sevens on a rush now after just knocking out Aaron. Here we go with the flop. The flop, eight, six, four. Jose needs to catch a nine or a king. Everybody holding their breath here. Here's the turn card, Fourth Street. It's a deuce of spades, also no help for Jose. He's in trouble, Mike. Jose must catch a king or a nine to stay alive or he'll be our third place finisher. No, he has battled gallantly throughout. A great poker face, one of the appearance, first time ever on the WPT. And now it's coming down to this card to see if he can survive. Can Jose do it? Jose, can you see a nine or a king? <laughs> Will there be another massive suck out this evening? River card coming up, it's a queen of spades. Queen on the river, his luck runs out. Well, Vince, you gotta give the guy a lot of credit. He got in this tournament by piecing himself out to investors. They took 60% of him. It's his first WPT event ever. Made it all the way down to the final table and survived to third place. What a showing this week by Jose. Yeah, Jose can play. Picks up 308,000. Gains a great poker reputation. Let's go talk to Jose. I've dreamt of being here, you know? I walked in here with goosebumps, just seeing the cameras, the final table, the music. I mean, it's just, it's, it's awesome, man. It's, it's surreal, it really is. Jose! <laughs>